Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am joined by my very special guest, Valak, which can mean only one thing, and that is, I'm talking about The Nun. Now with The Nun 2, just on the horizon, coming out in theaters this week, I thought it'd be fun to go back and watch The Nun. This is the only third time that I've watched this film. I did see it back in the theaters back in the day when it came out. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to revisit this one. Now, really cool particular cover. Hopefully you can make it out on the camera. Of course, the original artwork right there. Now, when this film came out, there was such hatred for this film. A lot of people did not like this film. Now, yeah, it did pretty good at the box office, but people did not enjoy it as much as I think the Warner Brothers are probably hoping that people would. Now, the one thing I have to say is if you're comparing this to the Conjuring films, to the Conjuring 1 or Conjuring 2, especially the Conjuring 2, yeah, this is probably not going to be a film for you because you're probably not going to enjoy it because it's definitely a step down for those first two films. But is this film enjoyable on its own? If you look at it as its own separate thing, is it an enjoyable film? Well, what do you think, Valak? Well, I don't want I don't want to piss Valak off by like saying anything bad. But you know what? I don't have to worry about that because I'm not going to say anything that bad about this film because I can look at this film as its own separate thing and I can enjoy this film for what it is. Now, the setting for this film in Romania, in this castle, in this abbey with all these nuns, yeah, it works. It looks fantastic. The camera work is outstanding the way that they're able to work with this film. There are shots in this film where it had this like really, really cool red lighting that's around. It almost makes me, reminds me of Suspiria in a way, like a little bit of Argento feel with the way some of this camera work is in this film. Uh, Taste of Farmiga as our main, the main nun in this film, Sister Eileen. Yeah, she is fantastic. She's definitely, you could tell, and it, every time that I see her, knowing she's the younger sister of Vera Farmiga, I mean, they look like, it's, it's like identical. Like, they look like they could be, you know, mother and daughter and not so much, you know, sisters. But I just, I, I think she's a really, really good actress. I really do. But I think everybody in this film works their butt off trying to make this film work and be as effective as it is. And I think it comes through. There is just a creepiness factor to this film. And there are some pretty good jump scares in this. I absolutely love, love this character. I think is one of the scariest freaking characters I've, characters I've ever seen put on screen. And let's talk about the music real quick. Because the music is so on point with this film. You don't even realize. Sometimes you're hearing something, but you're not quite sure what it is. And the music is just slowly building and building and building. Until it just hits this peak where it just scares the ever-living crap out of you when it finally hits that big-time peak. Because it can really... It could be so low with the sound, especially when you have a sound bar and you're listening to it, and then boom, it just it hits you. It hits you right in the face. It can knock you on your butt because that's how good the soundtrack is for this film. But like I said, from start to finish, this film just has such a great atmosphere to it. I really, I enjoy it. I appreciate what they did with this film. I appreciate them, try, appreciate them trying to do something a little bit different than what, Conj what Conjuring 1 and 2 and even the Annabelle films kind of set up. It kind of did its own thing, kind of going back in time a little bit, revisiting this thing a few years before, you know, the Warrens, you know, came into the picture in the whole franchise. And that's all I can really say about this film. It just, it really, it hits me. I really enjoy this film a lot. And I really think a lot of people should revisit this one. I really, really do. Especially if you're going to go see The Nun 2, then I would definitely recommend checking this one out again and giving it a second chance. If you, you know, if you're kind of like on the fence about seeing the Nun two, or maybe you kind of had, you know, a lukewarm reaction to this film, I think it's definitely worth revisiting again because I think you're going to get something out of it, a little bit different each time. It's only like an hour and thirty five minutes, so it's a fast watch. I don't feel it drags on at all, and the jump scares are there, the characters are there, and I. I Really, I can't say enough about how much I enjoy this film. I enjoyed it in the theaters, and I've enjoyed it, you know, the, the last two times that I've now watched this film, you know, third time in, and I, it keeps getting up there and up there for me. 
it's definitely one of the the higher rated films for me within the Conjuring universe. So yeah, definitely give go back, give the Nun a second chance. If you know, you're, like I said, if you're on the fence before, you really didn't care for it. I'm telling you, just give it another try and see what you think. Just put the other films out of your mind for a little while and enjoy this one for what it is. And I think you're going to get something out of it. So like, subscribe, and comment if the chance, and I will catch you in another episode. Take care. Bye.